Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a complete video tutorial series in ASP.NET Core Blazor application. In this video tutorial, I will explain. It's a very basic beginner's tutorial how to create and add a new Razor components in ASP.NET Core Blazor application. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new app project. Create a new project. After that, from the templates, I'm selecting the Blazor app. Then click next. After that, the project name is add a Razor component to Blazor app. And I'm saving this project in this folder core iPhone Blazor. And this folder is in the D drive. Let's create this Blazor application. And after that, select this first option Blazor Server app. Then click create. And the new ASP.NET Core Blazor application is created successfully. Let me close this default window. And if you notice, this Solution Explorer has default files, libraries folders are added automatically now before adding any components to our application first we'll check the output how it looks the designing part on the browser the basic default output let's run this application and here we got the basic default layout of the blazor application and this page contains about the menu car menu controls and at the sidebar we got the navigation links home counter when I click this one see it's counting the numbers after that fetch data we got some data here and this data is displaying here from the razor on the razor components now my aim is in this application I want to add my new razor components to this blazer application in ASP.NET Core so switch to the coding part let's stop this application and in the project and notice the app uh, notice the shared folder expand that one in this shared folder there is nav menu open that one this is a razor component which contains the navigation links the home counter and fetch data let's copy this and we'll add one more list item and this item I'm calling as a contact contact and the href also contact now all our razor component pages I am adding in this pages folder if you notice there are default razor components counter fetch data index.razor the error.razor files now let's add our new file razor components called contact copy this one right click the pages folder add razor component click that one and the razor component is contact.razor the razor pages must be the capital letter the first letter must be capital click add and here we got our contact.razor component. Now let's check the output after we adding the navigation link and we have linked it with this razor component. Let's run this application. And here we got our new output after we adding this new contact and navigation link. Notice when I click this link, I've got this message, sorry there is nothing at this address. And this message is getting from in our project. Notice the app.razor file, open that one. And this is the message is displaying on our component. If the pages or folder not found, you will get this message. But we are we have contact.razor page which we have linked with this. So let's call this href contact, copy this one and this razor component above I am adding a page double quotes 
forward slash I'm adding the contact this href link I'm adding here this is not pages this is page that's it now let's stop this app I will run this application again to check the final output and here we've got the final output after adding a new razor component to this app with the new navigation link contact and I click contact see here we've got the contact component is showing in our application this is a contact page let's change this page let's restart the app click contact so here the contact page that's it in this video tutorial i have shown the very basic tutorial for the beginners how to create the asp.net core blazor application and create and adding the razor components